December Community Day is always a big one in Pokemon Go because it brings back all of the Pokemon that we had featured throughout the entire year. This year is no different. We have Community Day on December 17th and 18th from 2 to 5 p.m. local time. And that weekend is gonna be a great time to play Pokemon Go because we're gonna have a ton of extra bonuses in addition to the Community Day Pokemon spawning. So on both days, December 17th and 18th from 2 to 5 p.m. local time, we will have double XP for catching Pokemon, double Stardust for catching Pokemon, half hatch distance when eggs are placed into incubators during the event, double candy for catching Pokemon, double chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive XL candy from catching Pokemon, lure modules activated during the event will last for three hours, incense activated during the event will last for three hours, one additional special trade can be made for a maximum of two per day, and trades made during the event will require 50% less Stardust. So not only are all the Community Day Pokemon back, but you're gonna get double candy, double Stardust, double XP, bonus XL candy. It's gonna be a good time. Now the Pokemon featured for Community Day, in case you forgot or you missed some this year, on Saturday, December 17th, we'll have Sandshrew, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Geodude, Hopip, Sveal, and Stuffle. And then on Sunday, December 18th, we'll have Teddy Ursa, Galarian Zigzagoon, Starly, Roggenrola, Litwick, and Dino. On both days, if you're lucky, you might encounter Bulbasaur, Dratini, or Mudkip, the three Pokemon that had Community Day classics throughout the year. So from 2 to 5 p.m., those Pokemon are going to be basically all of the spawns, but those Pokemon will also be spawning throughout the weekend from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on both days. So they're boosted from 2 to 5, we get the bonuses from 2 to 5, but the Pokemon will be spawning basically all weekend in case you want more of them. If you want more candies, more XL candies, uh, more chances to get a shiny or one with good IVs, you can play all day and catch the featured Pokemon. In raids and in two kilometer eggs, we're gonna have Pokemon that were featured in 2021 for Community Day. So that's Machop, Eevee, Roselia, Swablu, Duskull, Shinx, Gibble, Snivy, Tepig, Oshawott, and Fletchling. And again, those are gonna be both in one star raids and in two kilometer eggs. So if you wanna pick up some eggs, it's half hatch distance. You'll have a good chance of hatching. Well, you'll hatch a Pokemon from 2021 Community Day. And of course, another important part of Community Day is the exclusive move. It's very important for a lot of these Pokemon. It makes a huge difference for some of them. And you know what? Instead of going through all of them, let me just tell you the most important ones. Venusaur will learn Frenzy Plant. It is a great grass type attacker. It has been eclipsed by Mega Sceptile as the best grass type mega Pokemon, but it's still a very good one. Swampert can learn Hydro Cannon. We just got Mega Swampert and it is the best water type attacker. So if you missed out on getting Hydro Cannon this past weekend, you can get it again on Community Day. And uh, honestly, as far as like raid or gym attackers go, that's kind of it. Some of the others have potential play in PVP, like both Sand Slashes, Alolan Golem, uh, wall rain. But if you're looking for raid attackers, it's really Venusaur and Swampert that you want to remember to evolve on Community Day. As always, there is a $1 ticket available that's going to get you special research. It's going to give you some extra items, some encounters with the Pokemon, uh, and there's time to research featuring Pokemon from 2021 and 2022 Community Day. So that's about it for December Community Day. Uh, if you missed this video, check it out. It's a fun one. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Uh, and let me know down in the comments, which Pokemon are you most excited to catch again on Community Day? See you in the next one. Bye.